Hey everyone, welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Mark II Raygun from Zombies in Blackout. So this is new with the update that came out recently last week. And what you have to do to get it is go to the ghost town in the bottom right hand corner of the Blackout map. Once you've gone here, you want to go underground to the buried part of the map. And once you're there, you want to look in the buildings underground for the combat axe. It can be in any of the main buildings. So that starting area like you'd have in the buried map from zombies. You'll look around there and it'll be in any of the buildings. So just keep looking through all the items on the floor. Eventually you'll find it. So once you've got the combat axe, you want to go to the saloon at the back part of that buried map. And on your left, when you come in the, through the main door, you'll see there's like a little dart board on the wall. You want to aim the combat axe at the dart board and throw it. And if you do it right, you'll hear the piano playing to the right of the bar. If you hear the piano starting to play, that means you've done it right. And then you just need to run to the area of the map that would be Leroy's jail cell if it was buried. The map's got the same layout as it did in Zombies. And once you're there, you just want to hold square or X to interact with the question mark in the cell. And by the way, if you don't do the step with the piano beforehand, then the jail cell will be closed and you can't open it. So you have to get the combat axe to do it first. So once the jail cell's opened and you've gone to hold X or square to interact with the question mark, the ray gun will then appear on the wall. You just want to hold square or X again to take it. And then you've got your ray gun mark too. So then get out there and have some fun with it. Although it's kind of bad. It is cool to use it, but it's not very powerful, just saying. And oh shit, I died. Anyway, I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more Black Ops 4 guides on my channel. But thanks once again for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.